So it is very important that you do not do anything bad. And you have to say yes to all my answers, to all my questions. Or else I will do that same thing. Yes. No, no, you're not a liberty! <laughs> Sticks. So let's swap them out. Great suggestion, but I think there is, they are very, very heavy since they are stuffed with all the life that's required for the whole entire planet. That's why we do it together and make sure each one of us are using the maximum strength we can ever afford. <coughs> Five whole pounds! Are you sure I'll be able to make it? Worry, we already pushed it far, far enough. Relax yourselves. <sighs> Phew! Five whole pounds! For only 12 of us. I mean, only 15 of us. <sighs> Guys, now summon all your strength, all the possible strength. Like all the strength that has ever come to you in your life. As if you're being you're being chased by five by five monsters. By five nerfs. Summon all your strength. And pull the stick away. <laughs> <laughs> We're so tired now. Yes, it is out of the way. Now we can explode or try to vanish the two bad sticks just as we did. Gee, are you even tired after heaving? Like, I don't know, maybe it's like 50 pounds of a stick across? Of course, your number three is right. I think we should take a rest. <sighs> you keep on adding more and more powerful ammo like the most powerful ammo you could possibly ever get what you mean like you mean like um huge pieces of fire and flames and like and the thing that the person we just evaporated the thing that he shot oh yeah i gathered that when once it cooled down i stored it it's right over here Hey guys, I think you know how to duplicate things, right? Yeah, you guys do. So what about this? Keep on duplicating that thing and make it more powerful and powerful with each duplicate and shove them into the cannons and the guns. You got it? Okay. Because um, because they're like the worst thing in the world. 
But don't worry, we now saved the whole fence. <laughs> Okay guys, don't get don't get too enthusiastic about us. I mean we're just the squishy grapes. There's nothing that's special about us. Okay, okay, silence! No more talking! No more cheering! We have to tell you what you guys have to do. Come with us! Come with us to the journey to to the Nerf Planet! So you can destroy the nerf guns and the world can be good again. Yeah! Thank you. Now, no more talking. So, we're going to go to the nerf planet and our spaceship's somewhere near here. So, yeah. You guys can fly inside our spaceship too. Um, excuse me? Can I say something to you? Okay, sure. You can bring the the um golden thingy with you and um we can get the No, we first go inside the golden thingy and we get the green flashy thingy. Yeah? And then you take the golden thingy. And then we can stay on our planet. But any and at any time we can just visit you guys. Good suggestion. We are very sorry, but we have to leave. We have no time left before the Nerf guns will come and destroy all of us. Come on. Speed up. Prepare for flight. Why have you come here, faint sky? Um, there's some very bad news. The Nerf guns came to us, and they told us to show ourselves. And they said if we didn't, if we didn't tell us, them all our secrets, then they were going to kill us. So then we did. And then now they're going to come to you guys. And they even told us that you guys left and where you were heading. Oh, well that's very bad news. The good thing is that we don't really have the portal anymore. That, that portal, if the Nerf guns even arrive there, they, they will perfectly think that we are dead. No, many Nerf guns are going to come, and they're not going to come through the portal. They're going to come in ships, ships that haven't even been finished, because they're, they're, gonna, they're so rushed just to deliver them and just to get you guys killed. Oh, well we 
got many cannons, don't worry. You fellow Pompon people, with all of your weapons, you can come and fight too. All cram on the ship? Yes. Make sure you protect every inch of the ship. Cram yourselves as much as you want. Okay, I'm heading back with this news. Bye. Well, that means nothing but we head in the opposite direction. Well, not in the opposite direction because that would be too obvious. But we head either left or right of us. Yeah. boosts our spaceship by 100 times speed. I have one right next to me right now. I've been using it to get around the, this planet to tell everybody your news. Let me just go and get it. Wow. Okay, can I bring it back now? Yes. Um, I'm very sorry if I'm causing you trouble, but uh, my owner asked for Ten more of those sticks, because we need to go very fast. We're going into deep, deep space. Oh, we've got a lot of those. Okay, I'd be pleased if you got them right now. Please take them, if you want to go into deep space faster. Okay. Guys, I'm back. Guess what? I brought you ten, ten more of those sticks. And I did the calculations, and we are traveling at 2,400 octillion miles per hour. So every hour we, tra we travel more than 70 trillion light years per hour. So guess what? We will be outside the universe in about a few weeks. Do you want me to ask for more? I don't think that's enough. We're never going to get into deep space. It will take us at least five years or so until we get into deep space. But we have to get into deep, deep space. True. But I think we should first store all of the things inside the twin deck. Because we won't really be going inside there much anymore. Now can I go? Yes, you may go. Get about... Um, Yes. Purple Pom Pom! Purple Pom Pom! Where are you? Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, what do you want again? Um, um, my, my boss told me to get 100 more of those 100 times speed sticks. How many do you exactly have in this fence? Oh, we have many, many, many. We could possibly give them all to you. We have about, um, well, 100 in this place, so we're just basically just going to give everything to you. Good, thank you. So now I'm going to get them, if you really want them. Right. Yeah. I just end up, I just end up meeting a new dimension or something. So we must watch out once we reach deep, deep space. It seems like if the motor is not getting affected, or, or like, like no sound, like there's no sound effects, the motor is still making some noise, but we're just going that much faster. And the stars are rushing us so fast that we can't even really see them.
So this is what deep space looks like. It's so misty, it's so weird, and the sound is so creepy. I bet you at any moment we might see Nerf guns appear. I bet you that the Nerf guns are patrolling every corner of deep space. Oh, come on, be more positive. We just reached... Um, okay then. Guys, we are about to enter a unknown planet. Prepare yourselves. It's so hot in here. So hot the atmosphere is red. Well, isn't that very obvious? By the look of this planet, um, it should be very hot. And... This place looks terribly like faints, so I bet this is also one of the one of the cursed planets that the Nerf guns have destroyed. I don't think we can save many lives in this burning weather, though. The atmosphere is probably thicker than Venus's, and um, you see how immense this planet is. If we try to fix it, then we have to use the force of lightning. And the sounds of this planet, it's burning my ears away. It's so creepy. We know, we know. But, but, um, we ran into here as a good hiding place. Because the Nerf guns would never think that we have gotten to one of their cursed planets. And if they want to search this planet, then they're going to take years and years. Because we, being so small compared to them, they're gonna miss us very easily with their high-speed missiles. Do not, do not worry. Guys, we have just entered one of the Nerf Gun's cursed planets. We have to prepare ourselves with all this burning heat, all this creepy noises, all this everything. We still have to manage to save this whole entire planet. I bet that this planet is, is like well, at least a hundred times or a thousand times larger than Fruit World. Because since we were going at very high speeds, when we were approaching the planet, we still approached it pretty slow. So prepare yourselves, and we have to start this expedition. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to survive this. We're going to die. Our first and most important question every time we reach a planet should be how do we save this planet? Exactly how do we save it? Um, the first thing I realized when I look, once I looked at this planet was that it looked very hot and looked very cloudy and, and just thick. So um, the way that we save it is probably this, this thing like um, it's probably something very pre precious, like last time, that's generating all this heat and killing all life. So, um, yeah, I think we have to go to the top of the planet where everything is red. That might explain better. I think that this planet is just, is just in inhabitable. Maybe the Nerf guns had wiped them all out because it seemed like they'd blown up this planet a lot, and then they added a huge atmosphere, and then they raised the temperature to a temperature that makes you feel like you're gonna explode. So exactly, I think we should, the way that we're going to save this planet is we should go to the hottest place, and over there might be a heat producer. These are all good ideas. I think we should try both of them.